seat of the rotary body, okay? And then you go to bed. And relax your arms. Last week, my son Jeff went out to California and filmed Michael Ellis's course on obedience intensive. A portion of this class deals with play and motivation with your dog. While most of the students that come to Michael's school bring their own dogs, some simply can't. In this video, we're going to watch Jeremy, a student in the course, play or learn to play with Michael's dog, Pi. At the beginning of the video, you're going to see Michael do one-on-one -on -one training with Jeremy, and then after that training, Michael will do the same exercises in high speed. We thought it would be interesting for you to see. Out. Stand still. Don't move. Don't hold it against your body, right? Because then you have nowhere to go. You hold out here when you stop. Okay. Yes. Now be careful. See how close he is to your knuckles? Yeah. It's because you slid the thing sideways. And when you sit still like that, he's going to hold it. You've got to use his body weight. So you're pulling him and moving him. He drives into the toy if you hold it still, right? So if I hold the thing still, he's going to push into it and keep driving it back into his mouth. That's all the blood on the toy, right? So he actually cuts his gums in the back of his mouth. He's pushing into it. So you're not holding it still, right? So when you hold this thing still, yes. Hold the body of the tug, not the handles. And when you want him to out, you hold him out here, out, away from your body. Yes. So you have room to move, right? So you're holding him here, close to your body, and you're holding this, so he's doing that when you're trying to get him to let go. Use his body weight, swing him out away from you, out, over here. My arm, I'm an arm length away from my body. Yes. So then I have that room to move. Okay, back up and call him. Oh, <laughs> grab the toy. <laughs> wow. So don't hold the handles, hold the toy. It's just so slippery. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's spit all over it. It's totally slimy. <laughs> and then when you lock him up, lock him up out away from your body, out there, it's out. Oh. Perfect. Oh, boy. <laughs> and see, be careful about sliding sideways. Pull against him, pull against him. Now let him have it and back up. Ah. No. no, yes, let, okay, so get it done. Yes? Yes. Good. Now, as you swing around, let him have it and back up. Let him have it. No, let him have it. So, no, no. Yeah. So, you're swinging, you're going to go like this. And he's going to come bring it to you, right? So, when you're tugging against him, swing his body so he's away from you, and then let him have it. Swing his body, and let him have it, and back away. Just let him have it, let go. Back away, back away. So, you let him have it and run from it. Run backwards. <laughs> let him have it and then just run backwards. Catch it, catch it. Good. He's going to stop that. He's going to grab the toy. Good. There you go. <laughs> then hold it still and out. Out. Yes. Good. Nice. <laughs> If you have an interest in this work, I would point you to the DVD that I did with Michael Ellis titled The Power of Playing Tug with Your Dog.